Well, hello, Lindsay. How are you today? Oh, hi, Graham. I'm fine, thank you. How about you? Oh, I'm very well. So just for the viewers, uh, my name is Graham Morgan Watson. I'm one of the Horsham artists here in West Sussex. And I'm speaking to Lindsay Pearson, who's been with the group a long time. We're both sort of in our isolated positions during this uh, strange period giving us lots of time to work on our art, but we want to be able to share it and learn yep. more from each other. So what have you been up to, Lindsay? Hi, hi Graham. Yes, uh, I'm in splendid isolation in my studio, which is actually quite nice to be able to be over here and have plenty of time. So I have been playing with Indian ink. Um, this is very new for me, but I've been drawing with Indian ink and a stick, um, which has been fantastic to draw with rather than a paintbrush and then experimenting with this on watercolour paper, quite a heavy duty watercolour paper, uh, spraying it to get some lovely um, blousy effects, how it mingles with the water and reacts, and then using a brush to get some lovely movement to replicate water. And then the next stage will be to add colour, to add watercolour to see what comes ab about from there. So I'm quite excited, but I quite like my drawing. And now the next stage is a bit uh, scary because adding the colour, anything could happen. So we'll wait and see. Right, that right. sounds fun. Uh, what have you been up to? It looks like you've got a big beastie on your desk. Yes, um, my my kite is yeah. here. This is, this is um, one of my departures uh, that I've been using the stiffen material, Parva Pole. Um, he or she, I haven't decided yet, is, uh, I suppose, the fourth, actually, sculpture in this, what I've been working on. The other three I won't, uh, I won't reveal just yet. Um, but is at a stage now where probably ready to spray, uh, and I'm going to use a, um, this furniture spray, the chalky finish. I'm not sure that's the right colour, winter grey, but it might be quite nice to do that. And uh, working on the a, a stand which will hopefully keep it perpendicular. As you see, the temporary one I've got is a bit leaning. It's quite, <laughs> I thought I might be able to do it freehand with a with a six millimeter drill, but you know, trying to get a, a, a vertical um, hole isn't easy, but this is useful because it means I've got something to, that I can use to spray. Um, so this is where I'm at, at the moment, gone through various um, changes, it's quite interesting material. It's 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 getting harder and harder. I mean, it hasn't fully hardened, but it's so it's really quite solid. So that's where we are at the moment. I was, of course, hoping like you to show this at the art trail, but that's probably not going to happen. Um, but what we'll do is we'll keep keep in touch, see how these things progress. Yeah, I can't uh, wait to that with some colour on it. I think that'll yeah. be really stunning with the spray because it'll look mottled like the feathers. So. Yeah. It's very impressive, Graham, and it's uh, nice to see the development, the stages. Yeah. So hopefully if I don't mess up my watercolour, you can see that. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll get back together and we'll keep this going for, for people who are interested in the art, uh, our talking art series. And okay. OK, take care and catch up again soon. Keep safe. And you. Bye bye now. Bye.